So many of the pictures you see on the screen behind me are representative of the many different submarines that the world has at this point of time. India has a lot of catching up to do in one crucial sphere. It has nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. What it doesn't have are indigenous nuclear-powered attack submarines like the INS Chakra, which has been taken on lease from Russia. But what about India's very own? Well, we do have a program, and it is making speed. As the world watches, India is closing out the decade, but standing up a hugely hostile China in Ladakh. But there is another sinister intrusion this decade, from seven years ago, that still has the security establishment in action mode. A solitary two-month patrol by a Chinese submarine in late 2013 came as a rude wake-up call. China's most advanced SSN, a Shang class, conducted a two-month anti-piracy patrol in the Indian Ocean. And nothing could be done about it. Indian intelligence assessments said the deployment seriously aggravated India's security concerns. And that's why, in early 2014, the strategic establishment blew the dust of a decade-old secret file. A file containing a proposal for India to build a fleet of ferocious underwater predators. India's first nuclear-powered attack submarine. Seven years later, Chinese aggressions in Ladakh and elsewhere have added urgency to the program. The case for six indigenously built Project 76 nuclear-powered attack submarines. Displacing over 6,000 tons each and costing over 14,000 crore each is now pending with the government and likely to move forward in 2021. Armed with torpedoes and cruise missiles that can strike targets on land and at sea. These submarines will be powered by nuclear reactors, assuring them tremendous speed and almost unlimited underwater endurance. The Indian Navy currently has just one nuclear powered attack submarine, the INS Chakra loaned from Russia, but needs at least six. And that's where the Indian program comes in. Nuclear-powered attack submarines are like multi-role fighter jets. The Navy's INS Chakra, for instance, can run underwater at speeds of close to 30 knots, more than twice the speed of conventional diesel-electric submarines, stock and hunt warships, and attack shore targets. But like fighter jets, their performance lies in their propulsion plant. In this case, a high output nuclear reactor which can cope with the tremendous bursts of sustained speed without degrading reactor output. While the Indian nuclear powered attack submarine project will take some years, the Navy has opened up talks for the lease of another Acula class submarine from Russia for over two billion dollars. These agile high-speed attack submarines are very different from the only indigenous nuclear submarine currently in Indian service. So let's quickly sum up India's nuclear submarine plan. India has one nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine in service, with a second to be commissioned next year. On the nuclear-powered attack submarine front, India has Russian Akula 2 submarine on lease. We'll be getting an identical one to replace it 
in 2022 and is meanwhile awaiting government clearance for a homegrown project to build six similar submarines in India. The true strength of nuclear-powered submarines, it must be always said, is when they don't need to be activated. It is their presence that deters the adversary. But with an adversary that has already tasted the saline waters of the Indian Ocean and is far ahead in terms of capability and numbers, India has a lot of catching up to do.